So, so Ken's take on on aliving yourself. Um, this is a serious, serious situation. But you gotta be like, you gotta really think, yeah. A lot of times when people say this, it's because they're unhappy about something, yeah. And sometimes it's just because they they ain't got no money, or they've, you know what I mean. Their relationships come to an end, or they just just feel like nothing's nothing's working out, you know, in life. Um, but like a lot of us, a lot of the time, it's because it's a cry out. It's a cry out for help, and you can get help in many ways, and. Um, most people have had that thought at some point in their life, you know, like when things are going wrong or they don't have no money. And what I find is that it will pass. Um, obviously, if it's deep, deep depression and you're finding yourself not able to get out of it, that, that's a whole different thing. So, you know, you may need to be around people that can give you the right help. But yeah, a lot of the times it's just... This one is going to be surprising to people. Sometimes you're just tired. Like, you just need to rest. You just need to have a break. Like, just, just lock off, sleep, right? Get sufficient sleep. Just take time out for yourself. You could just be like, today, I'm going to soak in the bath and really, like, you know what I mean? Really enjoy that bath. Like, get whatever you put in your bath, then watch a movie or watch movies. Um, just just rest or even just go to the cinema, go out and go to the park. And you, what you find is that the rest gives you rejuvenation because sometimes people don't even realise how stressed they are or how tired they are. And it could be, I'm just tired, I'm just fed up. But they don't then give themselves the love and attention, the TLC, tender loving um, care that they need um, so do that like I said sometimes do something for yourself like if you can buy yourself some new trainers some new clothes get a, get a nice haircut or a hairdo you know treat yourself to getting your nails done or whatever just do whatever you think is going to make you feel good about yourself and you'll be surprised how just taking the time to rest will help you then the next thing is to actually sit down and think and write things down because we carry a lot of things in our mind and sometimes when you sit down and actually write it out be like okay what is the problem write it all out I don't have money I don't have this I don't have that I don't have that uh, my girls left me whatever it is that's making you sad and unhappy then, then write it down and then on the other side, like one column, all the problems, and then the other column, you look at what can you do to fix that problem. So, for example, if your girl's left you or you've left your girl or whatever it is, look at, okay, what about all those other girls that I knew or what about my friends or what, you know, there were other... It, it's an opportunity is what I'm saying. So even though it looks, they say every disappointment is an opportunity. So you have to look at, even though this didn't work out, the reason it didn't work out is to open up doors for something else to come along. You see, so like if you're in a relationship that wasn't working out, you need to leave that relationship to then be able to open doors for a new one to come along. So look at the positives of what this now means for you, for example, I ain't got no food. Okay, that might be a time for you to look at the food you were eating, was it any good anyway, was it healthy? And now you might start looking at alternatives. Okay, I'm gonna start eating, you know what I mean, more healthily. So you always have to turn what it is that you, you're feeling negative about into a positive. And if it's attention or some type of help that you need, Look at your friends, look at the people around you. Again, put them in those categories of, can I go to this person for help? And if I can't, then are they really my friend? Are they really somebody that I can rely on? Are they really somebody that should be in my circle? And then you might be able to eliminate because they say, 
you know who your friends are when you know what I mean when when you hit rock bottom when you're the when you're the point where you haven't got anything then you see who your real friends are because sometimes the people that are around you when you've got things when things are going when you're flushing when everything is working out are just there for that and the minute you don't have that they're gone you see so sometimes it's good it's a it's a um it's a time for you to re-emerge, to reinvent yourself, to take time, think about, you know, your surroundings. And then you might go in a new direction that's going to be much, much more positive. And that might even be just to take time and read a book. Yeah, read a book because there's so many books written by people who have gone through what you're going through. You know, people who have hit rock bottom. And normally that's the time. If you listen to most successful people, they will tell you, man, um, I was homeless. I was living in my car. I had no food to eat. And then from that, they got this inspiration, this energy, this ability to know that the power is within them and they can actually turn things around. So my take, Saken's take is always, if you're feeling that way, Give yourself love, tap back into yourself, do things that will make you feel better and know that it will pass. Everything has a, they say, the people around you are for a reason, for a season or forever. Uh, meaning, like I said, if they're around you for a reason when you're flushing it and when you're flourishing and you're doing well, they're only there for that. That's the reason they're there. When you don't have it, they're gone. That's, they were there for a reason. The people that are there for a season are people that are going to be with you on your journey, your life's journey for some time, but will, ne will not be there for you from the time they come in your life to the time you leave the earth. So those are people that are there for a season. Uh, a season can be a day, a week, a month, years even, but they will not be there till the end of your journey. And the ones that are there all the way, are the ones that are there forever, you see. So always look at people like, are you here for a reason, for a season, or forever? And then you know where to place people and you will know when, they, when they've when they got what they were there for, that's the reason, and they're gone. Or when the, when the season comes for them to be moved along because that's the end of their season. And the ones that are there forever, you cherish and you build relationships and you build bonds with all the way till you leave here, you know. So that's the can take on if you're feeling like, yeah, out in yourself or on alive in yourself. Don't do it because you have so much to live for that you will not discover if you end it prematurely.